lovely people. Today I'm going to bring you my October wrap up. Even though it's like November 6th, I think. So it's a little late, but I thought better late than never. I don't even think I did a wrap up last month, so I just thought it was time. So I read seven books this month, which is pretty good for me. The first book I read is called All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. And this book had been getting a lot of hype when I read it. And I think it still is because I still hear a lot of people talking about it. And I really, really liked it. It was a chunky book. It is a story that takes place during World War II. It's about a boy who is sort of being brought up in the Hitler Youth and a French girl who is blind. I really like this book. I was a little bit disappointed just because the hype was so strong. I just thought that there was a lot of buildup and then the book wrapped up really quickly after the buildup was over. So yeah, there's just a little bit of something that I wanted out of it, but the writing was beautiful. It was gorgeous prose. It was just gorgeous. So if you're interested at all, definitely still read it because it was worth it just to experience the way that it was written. The second book I read was called File Under 13 Suspicious Incidents and this is a companion book to Lemony Snicket's All the Wrong Questions series. It was sort of a fun read. It was 13 almost like short mystery stories and then you would have to turn to the back to figure out sort of who did it or you know the ending of the mystery story. If you like Lemony Snicket's writing, definitely read it because it's worth it for that. The next book I read this month is called This Star Won't Go Out and it's the writings of Esther Earle. Her story has a lot to do with John Green's inspiration for The Fault in Our Stars and I really 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 enjoyed this book. I thought it was going to be super depressing because it's about a girl who has cancer and who dies when she's 16 but her life was so inspiring and her thoughts and her feelings about her illness and her family and her life were just really, really interesting. She was very bright and very funny and I just really, really liked it and I would definitely recommend that you would check it out. The next book I read this month is called Reflections on the Psalms. It's by C.S. Lewis and it was really good. As I always say with C.S. Lewis books, if you like C.S. Lewis, if you like theology at all, just read anything that has his name on it. The next book I read this month was Last Days of Summer by Steve Kluger. I absolutely adored this book and I made a review of it and I'll link to that. And yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely book. It's in an epistolary style so it's written in letters and newspaper clippings and different notes and things and it was just a beautiful awesome story. The next book I read this month was kind of funny because it's a book I've had for a while and I was thinking I'm in the mood for something really light and really fluffy, maybe something with romance in it. And then I decided to read The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. This is not a light book at all. This is a book about the Vietnam War, but I actually really enjoyed it. Even though I thought I was in the mood for something fluffy, this was a beautiful book and it was very, very interesting. I definitely recommend that you check it out. The style is very unique. Um, the chapters sort of read like a collection of short stories, even though they are all connected. They're not connected in like a linear narrative. And Tim O'Brien actually experienced the Vietnam War as a soldier. So while this is a work of fiction, there's a lot of blurred gray areas about what actually happened to him and what he sort of made up to fill in spaces. But the book is also about, you know, the nature of war and the idea of storytelling and truth and how that all mixes together. And it was a fascinating book and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who likes to read. So basically everyone. And the very last book I read this month is Letters to an American Lady by C.S. Lewis. This is C.S. Lewis, so obviously it was excellent. It's just a book of letters that C.S. Lewis wrote to a woman living in America. They're very just general letters about life and stuff. Nothing really groundbreaking, but I love his writing and I love the way that he is casual in his correspondence. This was really nice and really pleasant. Now, as far as November goes for reading, it's probably going to be a slow month for me because I sort of at the last minute decided that I am doing National Novel Writing Month. So I'm attempting to write 50,000 words this month. 
sort of cuts into my extra time to read, but I do hope to finish the book I'm currently reading, which is Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. This is a really good book. I'm about a third of the way through. It's also epistolary in style, and it is about two people who seemingly are meant to be together, but they just sort of keep missing opportunities, and it's really nice, and I like it so far. And another book that I'd like to read is called Us by David Nichols. This is a book I heard about from Charlotte at Ramblings of an Elf Pyre, and she really, really liked it. I don't want to commit to any other books other than that because I know I don't have a lot of time to read, but that's what I have. If you have read any of these books, please let me know, and I will see you guys later. Bye!